Hey everybody, and welcome back to Bellstock. Let's get Deadlock Rival here, and things are not looking good. If you look up here, we're down to eight colonies, and one of them is being attacked. Cancerun. We really don't like Cancerun. There are some reasons for this. Later on, we will explain these reasons, but right now, we just have to save them because... Mm, let's just say there's, there's, a, there's a, a, a lady who's part of the Cancerans, and she's a word i can't use as a family show i want to use the word right so we're jumping our brand new fleet colonial fleet 33 in to deal with this uh this silent fleet that's over cancer um i'm recording these a little bit in advance so if people have put down names and things i will get to them um basically i'm trying to build up i'm going to uh glasgow um, for about a week there will be episodes coming up during that time but I'm kind of recording ahead of time so we can get as many episodes as I can put on so we don't have any kind of drop off or anything like that so if you're putting in names for officers names for ships, names for fleets I will quite happily use them uh, I will try and do that when I get back um, I am it's the, like, tw towards the end of July now and it's like the I want to say the seventh of august that we go so yeah i'm kind of pushing hard as far as i can um before we do that we're going to want to get these viper mark twos onto this fleet because we're going to need them definitely going to need them five mark twos may make the difference they're just better at killing raiders better at killing pretty much everything all right um this fleet still under strength. Nothing we can do about that right now. We're building the replacement ships now. Uh, it's going to be two Berserks and a Manticore. We will get them next turn, I think. And um, we can get them in there and then jump across, get them into this fleet. Then we can get the Broken Alliance one mission done. At the moment, though, we're kind of just trying to get stuff together as quickly as possible. If I go to my intelligence screen, our income's 103. That is pitiful. Now, we've lost Caprica, Geminon, Pycon, and Tauron. Caprica is one of the most like really good money systems you can get, but I really need to keep these six as best I can. Uh, Canceron is actually not giving us anything because the silence are over them. So, yeah, I need, I need a lot. I really do. I need so much. I think Cancer is one of the big money producers as well. Um, so yeah, we, we need to basically get these six fleets over them, protecting them with officers in there and start really kind of punching out as much as we can. But anyway, enough with me kind of rabbiting on. Set condition one throughout fleet. Okay. Chance of casualties, 4%. I would normally do this without even, like, you know, just hit the auto-resolve. We cannot take any kind of uh, casualties or anything from this. You know, other than Viper pilots. But this is the first time we've really had a chance to see the Viper Mark II's in action, so... It's got to be done. It's got to be done. I'm um, expecting a fairly lackluster Cylon fleet on this one. Probably a couple of Talons, a couple of Nemesis, maybe. We have all Viper Mark IIs. Um, supply cost, 40. <laughs> yeah. We are actually short on Tylium. Um, But let, let's get this done. Um, I don't know which ship's my flagship, so we're going to be very careful here. Be very careful. All right, let's get you in place. I need to basically make sure I'm keeping an eye on which ship is my flagship because we want that ship to be protected. Um, but I don't know. 
I just don't know. So, I made a mistake. I didn't check that. We will see what we can do. Oh, God, it's a really bad feeling. It's the, the manticore. <laughs> that would be terrible if it is. It might be, though. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. We'll see. We will see. I really need to get my RP up as well. I need the Artemis. I need it. I Understood. need it. I need it so bad, man. I need it bad. Uh, let's get you climbing. Right, you lot. I want you to move towards them. They are there. So I'm going to drop you down as well. And launch everything. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Do it. Okay, so we've got the Viper Mark IIs being Time coming in. A bunch of mama We're going to make them pay. Okay, as you can see, the Viper Mark IIs, they only have 34, not 40. I know this seems like a bit of a faff. <clears throat> uh, it makes a big difference later. Later on, when we're kind of sat there and we've got just loads of squadrons, because a lot of the ships deploy like two Viper squadrons at a time. So you can have this like doubling up, or you might have the um, <clears throat> like Jupiter 2. You can have two squadrons of Vipers, two squadrons of uh, Assault Raptors. Um, or you could have uh, the... Uh, the Atlas carrier, which is not very heavy on the armor, uh, but it's really heavy on the Vipers and things. And you just bring that in and it's just like, oh my God, I have just Vipers everywhere. I need a way to keep them in line. And you have this. It's a very nice little system. Is it perfect? No. Do we expect it to be perfect? No. But it does the job. Okay. Uh, all Vipers... Defend the Manticore. They want to keep the Manticore alive. Look how fast they're moving. Look at the move. Oh, yes. So much speed. They have so much speed. Escort priority one. Uh, okay. We have that. Let's just start zipping around. Yes, Commander. I'm going to have you turn that way. It's Understood. a little bit of an issue. It's not going to really work for us a lot, but because I'm staggering off fire here is really quite annoying. Um, let's go for the admins. Buy munitions. Let's take you out. Uh, let's put you on to attack. You can Understood. have the missiles as well. Oh, you're that one. Okay, cool. All right, let's do it. Firing solution is online. Target is four three by six one. Let's flick you back this way. Understood. All right, we got. Group one, I'm going to <clears throat> select target. I want you to go after that. Squadron target is We've confirmed. still got the uh, the other Vipers defending the Manticore, so they'll take out the missiles. But our two squads of Red Squadron should be able to take out this very quickly. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Can't get back up. Select target. You go yes, after sir. that. And select target. 
You go help out with those. What else we got? Uh, another couple of nemesis. Which means yes, three nemesis in a talon. One turn for you, one turn for you. Vipers destroyed that one. All right. Yes, sir. Let's move you that way. All Vipers. Select target. Understood. Bring it on. Everybody go to full attack. Focus fire. Buy munitions. Unable to get target lock. Why? Well, it's probably because they can't see it. They don't know what it is yet. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. They'll need more than that to take them down. You know what? We're going to just finish this fight as quickly as possible. We've got a Manticore that has the need to kill something. Also has all these ships that need, need to kill something. Go. Oh, those missiles aren't going to need Well, we needed the XP, but I'm just going to proceed because that really wasn't a fight. That wasn't a fight. <clears throat> okay, so. Um, you know, while I'm here, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, uh, we're going to... New Berserk has been deployed. Hold off on that. Right, transfer to there. And then transfer... There. You guys can jump. Oh my love. All right, what are we getting out of that? 34. Ooh. Yeah, we just got up to 141. That is a nice little uh nice little boost there. Uh Cancer on is at 34, Aquarius 28, Scorpio 32. So we're not getting a lot of Tylium, but if we can get ourselves over these last three places. That's going to make a, a big difference to us. Our income is 141 now. That's 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 kind of uh, that's kind of tanky. Um, you guys have taken a little bit. It's going to cost us one Tylium to repair the fleet. I am okay with this. So we need someone over Erelon. They are concerned. We need someone over Sagittarion. And someone over... Libran. None of these are, are, are terrible, but we do need to start thinking about getting more ships. Um, officers. Do we have officers to replace? We do. We have two more. So we're going to need another one. That's fine. Um, that is a bit I've too far out of the way. Staging coordinates of two Cylon patrol fleets in this area. Kane wants to run a joint operation with local defense forces and simultaneously remove both fleets. Good for the board, and good for PR. Bad news is it's miles away. We're not going to get there in time. Because of our Tylium restrictions. We've got 
things that need we need to do that for on multiple fronts. So um, what we do need is we do need another. We need a lot more. Commander, we've received an requisition. unusual request from the Aquarian Science Forum. There's a colonial ship in orbit they want removed. The research vessel was working on a new plating repair technology. Nope. The project got Cylon interest, and the research group was forced to abandon the asset and its crew. 80. There hasn't been much Cylon activity in the area other than that. However, Aquaria wants both Cylon and Colonial Fleet presence minimized while they prepare for the Kairos Summerfest. The forum said we can take the ship and any tech we find on it, as long as we take the Cylons with us. Whether it's actually theirs to give away is another matter. All right, transfer the whole fleet. There you go. Okay. All right, we've got 463 Tylium. Let's start building ships. I can get two adamants built. going after the systems up there now. That's a problem. Yeah, they're going to have to work on. I'm not worried about the system, uh, the plants that are already like, seceded because mm, Silence can park over them as long as they like. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference to me. It's these six here that I'm worried about. I need that next couple of fleets. If I can get two fleets down here, I've got two fleets up here, we can fend off. We're not going to reinforce any of our uh, col uh, colonies or anything. But um, if I can then get six, then I can start replacing ships um, with you know, the Artemis and things like that and start building our ships up and building our fleets up and making ourselves look just that little bit tastier but it's gonna take time uh time is something i really don't have all right we're down there 54 talium i need to build these fleets as fast as i can though so i'm doing it like as we're doing Detected it a Cylon escort fleet, sir. all right uh we're gonna auto resolve that we don't need to fight that fight <laughs> yay they died okay Broken Alliance 1. Here we go. Not going to postpone it anymore. We're going to get on with it. Need to do it. Need to kill the Cylon threat. With microwaves. I mean, it'll make it blow up, but that's beside the point. All right. We've got lots of like things out here. Um... What am I looking for? Three ships bunch of satellites All right, I'm going to put you in the middle rather than off to the right there I want to keep you safe you are my flagship I need to keep my flagship safe okay so <laughs> this is bad I can't afford this yeah this is bad uh, so we're going to have to go with some I don't think I can run with five Mark Twos. I can't. I don't have the Tylium to pay for it. So I'm going to have to fly five Mark Ones. Why am I flying just five Mark Ones? Here's why I'm doing it. Um, you have to supply your fleet. If you can't afford to supply them, then you're better off using all the same Vipers than having one group of Vipers as five Mark Twos and then another group as five Mark Ones because you can't. The five Mark Ones will get left behind. And a lot of the Viper power comes from mass fire. Especially against proper ships and things. So we're going to do that. The kind of... This is how I'm going to work it. I think. It's not ideal. But it does the job. Okay. Uh, let's get you. And that's you there. Okay. Really missing having battle stars right now. Battle stars, cool. All right, 
I am not going to put the manticore all the way out this time. I'm going to hold it back and we're going to try running like this. So we're having to use Viper Mark 1s. Not happy about it, but it's just the way it Fleet is. group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. Hostile Dreadus marks already on the board. The research ship is responding and active. It's peculiar to see a Vardmodia ship so far from home. Their drone technology isn't so radical that they need help from the Aquarians. It's possible that was just a front. Maybe some rogue techs looking for refuge before the Quorum passes its AI ban. I don't think so. In that regard, Virgis has more to be concerned about than these folks. They're drone enthusiasts at best. More interested in actuators and processors. Either way. Commander, proceed as planned. This may be a rare lucrative day for Colonial Fleet. Oh, it totally is. Alright, we gotta destroy the Cylons, nick the ship. Alright, let's... You guys, I want you all together. Yes, Commander. Um, and you lot launch yes, your squadrons. Sir. Okay, so we might lose our manticore on this because we have to kind of keep this guy safe. So say we all. Yeah, they're turning towards him. Are we just a greatest flip to them as well? All right. Let's assign our groups. I could, like, literally assign the groups as to which ship's working with which. But I'm not going to do that. All right, group one. Defend the manticore. Uh, the Celestial, sorry. Uh, group 2. Defend. Focus far on you. I'm going to focus far on you, but you're not going to fire anytime soon, so go. Time to make Hostile unit identified. We got a revenant. On the first nugget to lose their kill flat. Open racks and engage. Commander, multiple new Dreadus contacts. Great. All right, we've got a target here, so let's start using it. Missile tubes prepped. No, I want you to go after that. No, no, yes. Understood. And what, the first group is still just going to go after and try and defend that, uh, that Celestra. I need it alive. Yes, Commander. As they get closer, there's more guns in their face. Uh, 
unfortunately our vipers are taking a long time getting there. Because they're Viper Mark 1s, they are slow. Revenant is slowly starting to melt, so. They are engaging the Raider Squadron. Group 1, select target. There, please. You're not gonna. Hey, there you go. Go deal with them. On it, Commander. Uh, we've got another Revenant there. That seems to be firing at us. Let's yes, just gonna turn that away. Uh, let's go attack. Let's cancel target, select. Go. Fighter squadron is taking fire. One revenant down. Fire. And keep them in tandem. I don't want them getting separated. On it, Commander. Beautiful. You're chasing them down. The, the Raiders are faster. That's the problem. Uh, you. Select target. Go after that. Doesn't look like there's any missile launchers around, so... Firing on target. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual controls now. Incoming! Nice. Punch through the armor. That's what we like. Yes, sir. You turn this way. Right, one, you're still dealing with that group. Two, you're chasing down that Raider Squadron. Three, you're attacking this Revenant. guys are all still targeting that. That's fine. Buy munitions at that. We'll try and take that out. We need to. We've got this Celestia and might be able to uh, deploy plating. We can't deploy it to ourselves, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but there you go. Keep your target locked and watch Berserk is clear. taking damage. Revenant right down. We have a Ceres. That is bad, bad news. Bad news indeed. I'm going to send in the Vipers to deal with Sarah, as soon as possible. I don't want to, but we kind of have to. Get him, get him, get him. We've been through worse. Manticore is taking damage. I will sacrifice Manticore for the Vipers.
Squadron target is confirmed. System repairs underway. Manticore is taking damage. Celestra is taking damage. Damn. Yes, sir. One more turn until we can fire missiles. Celeste, uh, Saris is getting its butt kicked though, so that's good. Celestra is taking damage. Manticore is taking damage. Let's keep you turning. Yes, Commander. Now you got three hull left. Celestra is taking damage. Okay, Cyrus is down. That's what you get, crackers. That was scary. We almost lost it. Subsystem repairs are complete. They're breaking. Push the line. Time to clean up and go home. Yes, sir. You know what? We're just going to let this roll now. There's no need to worry. Yes, sir. Job done. All hostile marks are down. Celestra is secured and preparing to be boarded. Excellent. Ooh. Took a bit of beating there, but we managed it. Are we just a trade split to them as well? With five mark ones. Ooh, we need to build Time to make out. a bunch of Mama Toasters cry. Drinks on the first nugget to lose their kill slot. Open racks and engage. Firing solution is online. Optimizing firing solutions. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Switching gun to manual. We're gonna hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Adjusting shot, point zero six. Nice. Fire. Oh, clouds of smoke as they fire, fire off the guns. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice target that. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual controls now. It's little details. Incoming. Keep your target locked and watch the clearance. That's the next. Turkey down. Lower, lower three. I'm now you. Get him, get him, get him. We've been through worse. The Vipers were able to take out the Ceres simply because it was going after the Celestra. So they were able to attack pretty much impunity it's not focusing its fire on the vipers which is kind of good for us it still takes a hell of a beat Boom. There's a 
our lovely little fleet just hanging out there. All right, so our highest ranking officer just got another promotion. Unlock Celestra. Uh, so that would be that one. It costs 600. We can't afford it. We have so many other things that need to be done. We will pay the cost of uh, sorting out our fleet. That's fine. Bit of damage on that one, but that's fine as well. Let's take a look at our officers. Hundred and eighty. Uh, no, we're not going to pay that. That one definitely, because she's actually way over. So, sixty percent subsystem repair for flagship only. Or engineering subsystem strength plus two. I'm going to grab that. All right, we're almost to the next one, which should get us another fleet up uh, upgrade, which we can't use right now. But that's not the point. Um, you're fine. You have so much. Okay. Um, that would mean as soon as we get an Artemis, we can throw it into this fleet. But I don't see us getting the Artemis anytime soon. So I'm going to get the uh, subsystem strength. You know what? I am going to grab that. I'm going to just because we've then got it. Okay, we have 668 Tylium. I'm going to hold off building that right now. Okay, what have we got here? Prison <laughs> station. Commander, Admiral, while we were anchored at Aquaria, Sinan came across some disturbing intelligence about one of our allies. We finished debriefing the Celestra just a little while ago. Although the project was Torin owned, most of the crew is Cancerin. Mostly engineers and deckhands working off family prison debts. Their opinions on Cancerin's prison systems were scathing at best. One man insisted his uncle had been abducted by Cylons, herded out of the complex with a dozen other inmates, while the guards just stood by and watched. It didn't sound like an isolated incident either. We've received no formal requests from the Cancerin government to respond to these Cylon incursions. But I have tracked Cylon IFFs to at least one station, with no hostile engagements publicly recorded by authorities. That is reason enough to warrant a closer look. Commander, get a fleet to Cancerin to investigate the prison station. I'll deal with any politicians on the ground, as needed. Cool. Okay, but it requires a Raptor. We do have a fleet in orbit, so we don't have to run around or anything. So we can focus on getting more fleets out. Okay, you have actually made this particular planet absolutely fine. But we still need to get more. Need more. More! Okay, Libran and Sagittarian are going up. And I'm not entirely sure why I have no fleet over. <laughs> We will just accept it. Um, all right, so we want our new fleet up and running as soon as possible. End turn. We're going to postpone. New adamant has been deployed. Okay, so we've got two adamants up and running. My main problem is Daedalus fleet does not have anything additional on it right now. I could put together a fleet to su support the Daedalus and put it over, say, Scorpia. And I'm tempted to do that now. Just to lower the amount it's going to cost us to build fleets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this fleet up and we're going to use that here. Plus 4 Talium. 
from unfortified colonies. Where are you? Okay. Um, minus ten percent blueprint cost. Minus one turn on colonial FTL cooldowns. That's not too bad. Minus forty percent supply cost. Plus twenty tilium from fortified colonies. That is freaking massive. That might actually be really good for us. Minus fifty percent from office promotion costs, ten percent to build ship build costs. I could I could stack. I could really stack. Oh I'm tempted to stick them over cancering. Just for all the extra tilium. I mean, we've got Cancerin plus 20%. That's basically puts up to 40. I think. Maybe a bit more. Mm. I think it's easier to get back from here. That is not a nice. That world right there is just hmm. you stick a Cylon fleet there you're in stuck okay so we're gonna use the next build to fill up Daedalus we're gonna put Daedalus over Scorpia which will allow us to grab one of the other worlds as well and lower our build cost it also means that our ships will be built at Scorpia which isn't a bad thing and then once we've got six fleets, including the one for Daedalus, we'll jump Daedalus back to Ragnar. And we'll start trying to put things together. I am going to do that. I'm going to take a few turns and try and build things up a bit for us so we're not just sitting around waiting for me to build stuff. And we'll go from there, all right? Okay. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment, share. If you're new to the channel, like yourself, please do consider subscribing. Until then, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.